What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Drake back here for another video. Um, today's video, we're gonna be reacting to top 10 times aliens were caught on camera. Uh, I don't know what that was, it's like ash on here, or something. but top 10 times aliens were caught on camera. Um, I want to know in the comments right now from everybody watching this video. Do you believe that aliens are real or not? Let me know in the comments. Let's get this sound right. Make sure we're all good to go. Let's get it. He's okay, he's fine, he's friendly. His name's Paul. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times aliens were caught on camera. Oh. Oh. Okay. For this list, we'll be looking at those grainy photos and videos that aliens... Boy, what the hell? What in the... Allegedly make an appearance in. But are our picks real or fake? We'll let you be the judge and sound off in the comments. Number 10, Fresno Nightcrawler, 2010. Whether they're aliens, cryptids, or a hoax, these creatures are downright creepy. I, I don't know what it is, but it's not like any of the other cryptoids or Bigfoot or anything else we've seen before. They were first spotted by a man named Jose on his front lawn in Fresno, California, who captured this footage on CCTV. Oh, what the hell? They're reportedly pale, slender, and walk as though they're crawling. What the hell? Oh, no, nah, I'm moving after this. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, my what goodness! What is he doing? Since the first Fresno sighting, other people have claimed to witness the same creature in the area. Could aliens look like a pair of pants? Hey, who are we to say? Anatomically speaking, I've never seen anything that looks like either of these figures before. Number nine. North Carolina's Critter, 2019. North Carolina's candid Critter social media management got a oh. tad more than they bargained for when they posted a picture of an entity caught on one of their nighttime trail cameras with the invitation to guess the Critter. Also really important, whatever you do, don't look into its eyes. I, I did look at it, Rick. I've been looking at it. The group was a camera trap survey that took place in the North Carolina woodland and rural. Hey, <laughs> I love Rick and Morty. My bad, we got to go back. I wasn't paying attention. That thing wasn't... Doing what it was supposed to do. I'm trail cameras with the invitation to guess the critter. Also, really important, whatever you do, don't look into its eyes. I, I did look at it, Rick. I've been looking at it. The group was a camera trap survey that took place in the North Carolina woodland and rural areas with the intention to capture wildlife and natural events. But this particular shot stumped them as it was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. Its eyes look a little cloudy. <laughs> Oh, those are your eyes. Whilst skeptics were quick to point out that it was probably an owl or something, the group wasn't totally convinced, which is intriguing in its own right. My mom Whatever it is, my reaction truth video. is out there. Mulder, the truth is out party. there. Say what's up to everybody, Mom. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Sorry. I didn't mean to ruin it. You didn't ruin nothing. <laughs> I'm watching something that I don't want to watch in the first place. I really don't want to know if aliens are real or not. I, I, I really don't want to know. I'd have to meet one. Me too. But I'm sure they're out there. Aliens would give me up though. I'm not smart. I'm sure they're out there. Aliens would get rid of me Sorry. so quick. Sorry, I was walking around outside with Atlas trying to get him to go poop. Now he wants to do his part. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Atlas. Huh? Classic Atlas. <laughs> But so are lies. Number eight, the Red Gate Alien, 2021. Over in Montana, another trail camera captured a candid photo of a creature that appears to be out of this world, and certainly out of its clothes. Ghost-like figure that he captured. One thing I want to say, though, is, like, I be so, like, in the middle with this shit because it's, like, anytime something's ever caught on camera, it's always blurry. Or it's recorded on a potato. Like, somebody, like, can we record something with, like, 
an iPhone or something or like something like more clear footage. I need more clear footage. Unless there's something that they can do that makes our screens blurry. That would be crazy. But like I need more clear footage because this kind of looks like a like just a crackhead or something like I don't know. I'm in the middle. Brought him national attention from paranormal investigators. The Redgate area has garnered a reputation in recent years for being somewhat of a UFO and alien sighting hotspot. Montanans have been seeing these strange things for years. In fact, Montana ranks in the top five of most UFO sightings per capita. Many witnesses claim to have seen unidentified flying objects in the air. But it's a photo taken by Deer Lodge's Donald Bromley that has garnered a lot of debate. There's just a lot of activity that is unexplained to this day. We just caught this thing. At first view, it simply looks like a person walking past, That's but it could be argued that the proportions are off. Humanoid, but not human. Perhaps if more people set up trail cameras in Redgate, we might get an even better look at them aliens. Number seven, the Kennel Vell figure, 2019. When it comes to paranormal and extraterrestrial investigations, sometimes there's a bit of overlap. In 2019, ghost hunter Mark Davies and his friends visited Kennel Vale in Cornwall, southwest England. Their camera picked up a strange silhouette moving along the bridge ahead of them. Everybody's so afraid of their own goddamn shadow. Davies claims that the air got cold and his back started to hurt. He insists that the video isn't a hoax, but instead depicts what some call aliens, others demons, and others watchers. You have to pick one. I Bruh. can't. I love You see what I'm saying? That there's no clear footage. Like, I didn't see nothing right there. Am I tripping, y'all? Let me know in the comments. But I didn't see nothing at all right there. Them all. However, he believes that the figure was evil. So don't go rushing off to explore Kennel Vale at night. Number six. The eh. Glasgow Glower, 2021. This now that's crazy. I don't know what the hell that is. Time there are two entries for the price of one. It could be that these two sightings are depicting the same general phenomena, given their shared location and similar time frame. But it's hard to tell as the descriptions have discrepancies. That's not the same thing. It is the same thing. The first, taken by a Glasgow student, shows a strange glow over the night skies. Around that same time of year, a Nah, that strange glow in the sky was pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, that's just freaky. Like, cause what is that? How can you explain that? A Glasgow woman caught a static, almost humanoid shape flying across the skies of the Scottish city. Oh. It's literally a UFO because it's unidentified. As it was taken during the day, the light is good enough to get a clear image. There are numerous differences in the shape and behavior, but the timing and the location are suspicious, to say the least. Data, what the hell is it? Number five, Jarkun's Roadside Visitor, 2021. 2021 seems to be the year of off-world visitors. We can only assume that with so many people remaining in their homes, extraterrestrials didn't have to worry about... Nah, I'm not gonna lie. That looks creepy. Being spotted. Where are we grabbing? We're going to the food court at the mall. Oh, the mall? No, no, I, I can't go dressed like this. Clearly one or two of them slipped through, however, as this footage from the Indian state of Jharkhand appears to show. It is difficult to see if the video is doctored or simply a plank played by someone. Not only is it a clear view of a creature walking very incongruously alongside of a road, it appears taller and thinner than the average person. He combines the ancient people of Cthulhu with the trim physique of Slenderman. The footage also shows that there were multiple witnesses to the event. So it would be more difficult to debunk should many come forward and corroborate the story. Number four, the Sulphur Gray, 2015. We're back in the United Kingdom for this entry, which is unsurprising given that the county of Yorkshire has reportedly seen over 200 alien and UFO sightings in the last 20 years. But while there isn't a lot of footage that's readily available, just a few miles away in Sulphur, there is quite the compelling video of a gray alien wandering around. Grays tend to be the ones that most people think of when they think of aliens, and are often what alleged abductees describe after they've been returned. 
Alternatively, just think of Paul from the movie of the same name if you need a visual reference. Are you going to probe us? Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I hard? <laughs> Paul is one of my favorite movies of all time. But, um, yeah, that clip was creepy, too. I don't know how to explain that. I feel like that's how aliens would look. Gray. Some people say that they would be green or something like that. I feel like they'd be gray. Interesting farts. How much can I learn from an ass? Whether this footage is a hoax or the real deal, it's always fun to speculate. Number three, a turning point for Turkey, 2007. For Yalchen Yalman, aliens and UFOs are all in a day's work. Though he doesn't work for Area 51 or the Men in Black, the Turkish night watchman is so used to extraterrestrial encounters that they don't phase him. Die, you alien shithead! There are two facts about his sightings that make them stand out. First, his footage spans years of repeated visitations. Second, some of his footage, you can just make out two pilots inside the craft. This night watchman doesn't just look for intruders, but aliens as well. It's a bird! It's a plane! Just kidding, it's a plane! Number two, the crashed visitor, 2011. This entry is not for the faint. That is the realest alien sighting I've ever seen. Whoa. See, that's what I'm talking about. I need footage like this. I need footage like this. I mean, clear, conclusive footage of this shit being real for me to believe in. Or I need to see this shit for myself. Oops. Part. So fair warning. That damn alien autopsy that's stealing all the headlines. Yeah, tell me. In 2011, footage emerged that alleged to be the aftermath of a UFO crash in Siberia. The people in the video claim to have found an alien creature that has been caught up in the wreckage and lost its life in the process. However, not long after, it was reported that the people in the video had faked the alien body with chicken pieces and breadcrumbs and received a stern word from the Russian authorities. But doesn't this hoax look a little bit too... Nah, bro. That looks a little too real. I don't know, though. Is it a hoax or is it a real thing, y'all? Let me know good for tomfoolery and does it really look like chicken and breadcrumbs no we're not saying there's a conspiracy within the conspiracy but we're not saying that it's not either there's a conspiracy here a dark vast conspiracy that may just go all the way to the top before we continue be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos you have the option subscribe to my channel and ring my bell too wait hold on no no that sounded weird y'all know what i mean Turn the post notification on. Damn. To be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the peekaboo alien, 2008. While the person who shot and released this footage doesn't deserve the publicity, and thus his name will not even be mentioned here, the boo alien footage has generated too much debate to omit. Oh, man, what is that? <laughs> Released in 2008, it appears to show an alien engaging in a quick game of peekaboo. And although it isn't completely clear in the video, the image does appear to be that of a previous. That does look like a. That's a person with a big ass head. Get out of here. You're not tricking me. I'm too woke for this. They mentioned Gray Alien. There are other videos like it, created in an attempt to parody and debunk the original. But still, the Boo Alien persists, and cannot seem to be thoroughly let go of as a fake. You're insane. So, you prefer the original thing? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from one. Alright y'all, that's gonna do it for this reaction video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like. Comment if you think aliens are real or not. I'm in the middle. I don't know what to believe. Or what to think. Um, I gotta see it for myself. Or see more clear footage I guess. Um, but yeah. I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. 163 subscribers. Road to 200. Let's get it. Let's go.